back. Thanks for having me. It's great to see you ladies again. Great to have you with us. Yes. So the majority of our audience apartment living. So yeah. what are some inexpensive mm -hmm. things that they can look into uh, as far as increasing their security yeah. goes? Sure. But the first thing I always like to recommend is a door stopper alarm. You can get three of these online for less than $20. Huh. They take a nine volt battery. They have a rubberized bottom. Hmm. So they work well in carpeted floors and hardwood floors. Not only do they act as a wedge so that the door can't be open completely, but they also have an alarm that you wow. can set the volume on. They are also great for traveling. So I take mine with me, whether yeah. I'm traveling for work or going on vacation. These are great tools that again, inexpensive. So most everyone can use them anywhere they go. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm so glad I watched this show. You learned something new. I did not know I gotta get that me that one device of them. existed. Three of them. And that is, I will give that to all my friends. Yeah, birthday wow. gift. And right. you say you take this it with you. This is gonna be your engagement gift. Thank yeah. you. You take it if you yeah, go stay yeah. in a hotel. That's yeah, smart. it's easy enough. I take the battery out so it doesn't accidentally go off in my suitcase. Mm. <laughs> and it's it's easy to travel with me. And like I said, really inexpensive, right. a three pack for less than $20. Okay. And it gives me a sense of security, great. Um, you the also next said thing, curtains? Yes, sheer curtains. So many of us have blinds or heavy yeah, curtains. True. But I don't know about you, I like the sunlight coming yeah, in. But it doesn't mean I want people seeing into my apartment. No. So having sheer curtains, you can find those online or even in retailers around you for pretty inexpensive that you can add. Let's the sunlight in. At night, it lets the airflow go through right. if you have your windows open, but it prevents people being able to clearly see into your apartment mm. to see what items you have in your house. Right. Just a little subtle. Subtle. What about right. light timers? Yeah. I yes. wouldn't have guessed that of, as a security measure, but, but talk to us. Right. And the holidays are coming up, so mm. many people use light timers with their holiday decorations. They want to turn them on or off at certain times without having to think of it. Well, you can do the same thing with your lamps. You can, I found a two pack online for $12 huh. and you simply plug the lamp outlet or cord into this light timer and then plug the light timer into the outlet. And you can set the times that the lamp will turn on or off, whether you're home or not. Oh, oh. keep okay. them guessing. And speaking of keeping them guessing, That's right. you, uh, yeah. Kelly, you have some ways for us to keep those thieves guessing as to whether or not you're home, you know? Yes. Yeah. The more you can vary up your routine when you're leaving for work or coming home from work, the better. Mm. And it doesn't have to be anything spectacular. Maybe you pick a day to leave a little early and get a fancy coffee or Ooh. grab breakfast on your way to work. Or maybe on the way home, you take the time to sit in the park or stop at the store that you've been wanting to check out. The biggest thing is varying up your routine so oh, you're not predictable, so that they can't plan or that, that they don't have confidence of knowing when you're coming home. That's a that. I never would have thought of that, exactly. but it makes so easy. Sense. Uh, you also have a great tip is you say to think like Kevin McAllister in Home Alone. Am I getting a Michael Jordan cutout and I'm putting it on my train? And the recorded voice. My, <laughs> my Lionel <laughs> train station. That's right. If that's what you want to do, just don't freak yourself out. Okay. Um, yes, I actually gave this advice to a client because we can get caught up in thinking we need to have this high-tech security equipment or, or spend or invest a lot of money in a security system. And frankly, we don't all have those kind of resources. So what you want to do is think, how can I make my home, my apartment, less of an attractive target to a potential thief? You can go to a thrift store, find some wind chimes or maybe sun catchers to put in your windows, succulent plants to put on your windowsill. What you're trying to do is, is give the potential thief less easy access points right. that are creating silent. An so if there's things creating there, obstacle. right, you're I'll creating the an iron obstacle. coming down to the Good face. Job. <laughs> there you go. Or I the paint it. cans. That's right. Oh, yes, That's right. the feathers. That's right. I love it. Right. Okay, Kelly, any other last key reminders or thoughts that you have to share with us and our viewers? Always lock your doors and windows, even when you're home. And if someone comes to your door and you don't know who they are, you don't have to open the door. Right. If they get upset, you'll be glad your door is still That's right. closed and mm -hmm. locked securely. And that's another thing that a lot of people don't understand is you actually do want to tell them or let them see or hear that you're home. Right. Because these are looking for an empty apartment. Yes. Let them know you're big. Steal. You're there and yeah. you're big and you mean business.